My name is Phil Wilson. I am one of the tutors on the A-Level Politics course and welcome to this introductory webinar. The British people have spoken and the answer is we're out. British politics has in the last decade seen four general elections, three prime ministers, a coalition, majority and minority governments, three referendums, war and terrorism and the country bitterly divided over the questions of Brexit and the Scottish independence. In just the last few months, we've seen a global pandemic, the implications of which on our society and our politics are yet to be felt. What will the next 10 years bring us? How, or rather can, our politics and institutions respond? We'll consider the development of universal suffrage from the days of Peterloo and the Chartists through to the suffragettes. We'll also gain an understanding of the Westminster model, the British Constitution, look at how the British Parliament works, the role of the executive, as well as more recent developments including the Supreme Court and the process of devolution, looking at voting systems used in the UK and elsewhere in the world. We'll also look at class and other social factors which help determine voting behaviours and apathy. What do we want? Climate justice! When do we want it? Now! We'll look to how people may engage in politics, the use of referendums including recent examples to consider the advantages and disadvantages associated with their use, and the role of pressure and protest groups that seek to influence public opinion and policy as part of a pluralist democracy. You will gain an understanding of the function of political parties, how they operate and explore the ideologies that underpin their viewpoint. We'll consider the contribution they have made historically to the way we live our lives today. We will gain a deeper understanding of conservatism, liberalism and socialism. We'll consider their key ideas, the thinkers and the differing views and tensions within each. There will also be an additional contemporary non-core political idea that we will study, from a choice between anarchism, ecology, feminism, multiculturalism or nationalism. As well as the established political parties, we'll also consider the growth of minor and emerging parties such as the Scottish National Party, Green Party and others. Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. We have been elected as New Labour and we will govern as New Labour. We'll look back to political history and compare and contrast three previous general elections, researching the trends, voting behaviours, the issues and campaigns, plus their lasting impacts. We'll also consider the concept and development of individual rights and responsibilities from the Magna Carta through to the Human Rights Act. This is just a flavour of what we'll be studying, but now let's move on to how we'll do that. The A-level will be assessed and graded at the end of the second year with three two-hour written exams. As you can see on the screen, uh, each will be worth just over 33% of your total mark. Um, and the third and final paper will be based on comparative politics, which we'll be studying in the second year. The textbook that we'll be using for the course is the Pearson at Excel A-Level Politics uh, textbook, which is available on Amazon at £37.99. It is um, really worth purchasing. Uh, you will need to be referring to this in class and outside class as well, so it's really worth um, that and ordering it before the course starts as you'll need that in the transition task that we set at the end of these, this series of webinars. In class, we'll be looking to make the learning as engaging and as interactive as we can. There'll be flipped learning, so work will be set before each lesson where you read some introductory background information, research or look at multimedia videos um, and other sources of information to get an understanding, a basic understanding of the issues we'll be discussing in the lesson itself. We want to ensure that there's plenty of discussion and debate. 
we will keep an eye on what is happening in Parliament and elsewhere in current affairs, and also always relating that back to what we're learning in the classroom. So it's really important you keep an eye on current affairs, on newspapers, on what's happening in Parliament. And that again will be one of the subjects, uh, one of the tasks in the uh, transitional um, piece of work that we set at the end of these webinars. We also encourage as much group work as we can as well, working with others on the course to complete tasks or activities. So we don't want the lectures to be dry, boring. We want you to engage, have fun, enjoy the subject, get stuck in into further reading or further research to expand your knowledge and understanding of key issues. There will be guest speakers and also trips. We're currently looking to organise a trip to the Houses of Parliament and to Whitehall. That will be in the first weeks of the course in the autumn term. We'll also be looking to arrange speakers to come and visit either us um, at the college or online. So it could be members of Parliament, parliamentary staff and others in key roles within the government, opposition parties, um, the functions of Parliament itself. To give you a real understanding as to the day-to-day -day workings of Parliament and politics in Britain today. The question is a key opportunity for you um, with A-level politics. Politics opens up so many different doors and is relatable to so many different subjects. If you want to progress onto higher education, you could continue to study politics, law, business, sociology, among many other opportunities uh, at higher education. You could also go into a successful career management, finance, government, industry, business. Many employers these days who operate across national boundaries look to people who have got an understanding of how the world works, how it is governed, and politics will put you in a really good step. So next steps. So if you've already not um, downloaded the A-Level Mindset booklet, please do that. Download and complete the booklet to help you understand what is what we are looking for a level students, the sort of commitment and work ethic required to make a success of your studies. Get organised. Think about how you're going to organise your notes and how you're going to be studying at home. And follow the webinars. This there will be a series of webinars to introduce you to the subject and how A levels work. And if you have any questions about the subject, about the course, please do contact me. My email address is on the screen there. So I hope you found that information useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you in September. In the meantime, if you do have any questions or any queries, by all means, please rewind the video to get my contact email address and I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.